Welcome to Kaisa's Dreams Chess Channel. This is free short chess lesson number four. Let's start. E4, E5, Knight F3, D6. This is Philidor's defense. D4. And now key moment. Black can develop his knight or his bishop. Normal and most common moves in this position are knight f6 and knight d7, developing a knight first. But in this game, black played bishop g4, and as in our first lesson, you know that this is bad, because we should first develop our knight or be very, very careful before developing our bishop. White took on e5, and now black can't take with pawn, because we take queen, and then this pawn on e5 is hanging. So he must take on f3. And now Fischer suggested one very interesting move. That's pawn to f3. And after pawn takes e5, queen d8, king d8, f4. And white doesn't have double pawns anymore, but he has a bishop pair, and he is surely better. But in this game, Morphy took bishop with queen. And this is very logical move. Pawn takes e5, bishop c4. In this lesson, I want to show you final part of this game, which is very interesting. Knight f6, queen b3. I'll speed up this part a little bit, because it's not as important as bishop g4 move. This knight sacrifice is also very beautiful. And this is the part I wanted to show you. See this position few seconds and then we will continue. Rook d7, awesome move. Rook d7, rook d1, queen e6, and final part of this game, bishop d7. What happens is that after knight d7, we play queen b8, queen sacrifice, because after Knight b8, rook d8, mate. And that's how Morphe won this game. If you like this lesson, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what you want to see in next video, and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.